Hello everyone, welcome to a video that's an unboxing video. Okay, so there's two things going on. One, I have a new location. It's not actually a new location, it's just a different location. And I'm accompanied by Kuchikopi from the Speakeasy. If anybody knows who that is, please let me know so I don't feel so crazy. I am wearing my glasses. A lot of you have complained about the reflection. I get it. It's, it bothers you because it's a reflection and you can't see my eyes, which are apparently really important. Um, they're my glasses. They are corrective lenses. Unfortunately, I need them. So like before it was like, oh, you don't have enough lighting. And now it's like your lighting is insufficiently diffused. Anyway, listen, I'm trying my best here. So you're just going to have to work with me. Okay. Um, I'm going to do my best to not reflect so much. It's not as easy as you think, but I'm trying. So if you see my eyes flicking, it's because I'm occasionally checking to see if I'm reflecting. Okay. Um, <laughs> this unboxing video is of this pen. It is a Caron Dash pen, and I received this on loan from Caron Dash in Canada. It's going back soon. Now, let me tell you a bit about the pen, or do you want to know what it is? No, you probably want to know what it is, right? I'm so thrown off because it's all new, right? Like, I can't remember what I usually do. So let's, you know what? Let's just go through the box and I'll tell you the details. This is the box. Very simple. I like the size of it. I'm okay with this size. Just a nice red sleeve with gold foil stuff written on there. And it's a clamshell, black, simple, firm. And the pen is not inside because I didn't want it to fall out. But if you open it up, the pen comes in, it comes on a little leather bed, leathery bed. Underneath there is, a really cute thing. So first of all, you've got your little manual, um, the owner's guidebook and international guarantee. So this is in multiple languages and um, shows you how to ink your pen, talks about the Carandash inks, talks about a couple other models like personalization, materials, and um, what else have I got in here? Engraving, it's a cute little notebook if you're interested in going through it. The really cute thing is it comes with this. It's a tiny little box, and inside this tiny little box are tiny little cartridges. It's weird, sorry. Tiny little cartridges. Standard international cartridge that are branded. Amazing, let me see if that'll focus, there you go. Branded, and um, inside the pen there is a standard international converter. So these are short, standard international. The long will not fit into the pen. So that's the packaging. Uh, oh, I left the bed out. Whatever. Um, and the pen... I've got stuff everywhere. The pen is this pen. This is the Caron Dash Le Mans Bleu Nuit... No, uh, Grand Bleu. Sorry, I always forget because it's like Bleu, Bleu, Nuit, Grand. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I am using the French terms. This might upset some of you. I'm not going to say Grand Blue because it came as the Grand Bleu and I'm respecting that. So there you go. It is quite a lovely pen. Now let me give you a couple details before we continue. First of all, it is roughly 900 US plus tax. So it's a pretty pricey pen. Canon Dash pens are not inexpensive and that is one of the reasons I have not really reviewed many of them is because I haven't actually bought any for myself because they're just a bit pricey. Not that I haven't spent this much money on pens before, it's just that I haven't picked one of these pens. The nib is 18 karat gold, rhodium plated, fine, medium, broad, and I special ordered a double broad to review and share with you. Um, as I said, standard international short cartridge and converter. The pen has a lifetime international guarantee, which is actually really amazing. Most nice pens have like a one or two year guarantee and um that's okay but it's like the price of the pen kind of like is like insurance on the pen so you've got a lifetime guarantee if you plan to keep the pen or if you want to give it to someone at least you know it's going to be okay that's a nice thing now let me tell you a bit more about this particular finish bathed in light and ruffled by the wind waves come to life with the new Le Mans Grand Bleu the delicately engraved background evokes the regular ripples of waves on the water's surface. A layer of translucent lacquer, reminiscent of the intense blue of the ocean depths, reveals these undulating reflections on the refined body. It sounds like a lot of fancy words. I gotta say, they actually nailed that finish. It is a superb finish. Now I have 
reviewed the Le Mans Caviar finish, which is my favorite one. Um, this one is my second favorite. I like the Caviar's like gunmetal look, but this one's got silver plated trim and a lacquered body. And I'm not going to show you a whole lot because of course we're going to do a uh, desk down look at the pen, but there we go. This is the unboxing bit where I unbox it and I give you some details. And I don't want to spend too much time up here because I think the writing is the more interesting part because it's got a double broad nib. So enough chit chat with the face. Let's pop down to the next angle and see how this bad boy writes and looks in detail. Beautiful pen. It's quite nice really nice nib. I'm going to just spoiler alert. It's a really nice nib. So thank you so much to Karandash for loaning me this pen. I will see you in a second. I'm so sorry. Okie dokie. Um, here we are on the desk version of this video. Um, this is the Karandash Le Mans um, Grand Bleu, so Grand Blue. And um, I actually researched how to pronounce that, so hopefully I got it right, and that's, that's enough of that. Anyway, um, okay, so if we want to look at it in a little more detail, the finial has like an ena a clear enamel coating. It is sort of like a slate gray-blue, I think, with a metal knob. It's got a hexagon shape. The clip is pretty slim. Uh, the profile is very close to the body, which I like. It's um, like it feels spring-loaded and it doesn't extend super far from the body. Again, something that I like. Very simple center band, Swiss made, Caron Dash on the, uh, in, uh, in the engraving and just a plain uh, back end of the barrel. So what I'm trying to show you by rotating this is obviously you can see the guillage pattern and you would think that it might have a texture to it, but it's actually totally smooth. So the lacquer on top is like perfect. I have looked over this pen in detail. There is not a single flaw on it. Now, I love my Pelican pens, but like the the um, the pink and uh, like the violet and stuff like that, you can see imperfections in the stripes. This one at basically twice the price is flawless. So that's a good thing. You can expect something nice when you get the pen. And so uncapped, there's an O-ring here. So when you close it, it's it's not hard to close, but it's a smooth closure. The metal section might be an issue for some people. It's fairly slim. Like metal sections don't really bother me, but I actually find this section quite slim. And um, it can be posted. It's pretty heavy when it's posted. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so the balance is like right around here, which is a bit too high up for me. So I actually prefer it unposted like so. Um, this part is not really painful and you should be gripping further down anyway. So there's that feature. The nib is um, uh, double broad, sorry. My brain fell asleep there. It's a double broad and you can get it in fine medium broad and the double broad is special order. I figured because a lot of us who like larger nibs are still looking for companies that will make them for us, this is an option. They are not inexpensive pens, but I appreciate that the double broad is an option. And it's a pretty generous, wet, stubby double broad. It's not the round point type. Um, Mont Blanc does a similar type and um, I mean Pelican has gotten rid of theirs and Aurora's double broad is typically quite stubby as well. So much sharper. I find this one very pleasant, very smooth to write with. So we're going to do some writings. Let me shift this around. Oh, this is not in the best location. Hang on. There we go. And... Let's write. Okay, so you saw how long I had this uncapped for, and it picked up immediately. So it had not dried out. And um, I've actually inked this like three weeks ago. So that's pretty fantastic. Now the ink is, I mean, sorry, the pen is 
the Caron Dash, or sorry, Caron Dash, I think they call it, Le Mans, and it is the Grand Blue. The nib is double broad. Now, I've got the microphone clipped to my shirt, so I don't know if you're going to really hear the writing. Um, when I'm done blabbing, you know what? I'm going to move it right now. And then we can see if you can pick up the writing a bit better. Let's just put it here. see your line variation. It is a fairly soft nib. Okay. I'll bring this back. Hang on. Um, I mean, sorry, I shouldn't say soft. It has, it's a nib that has a little bit of give to it. So it's not a nail. Um, I actually really like how it feels. Um, superb for daily use. Okay. So with a bit of pressure, you're not really going to get line variation. What you're going to get is just a wetter line. So if you want to squeeze out some more ink, uh, you can do that. And yeah, I really enjoy this. I think it's a superb writer. It is not inexpensive, as I said. They're pretty, they're pretty pricey, um, but I find them really well made. Like they're superb. And I've used a few Kaon dashes now, and they've all performed flawlessly. Like I mean, flawlessly. And they are beautifully made. There's no details on them that is like messy or anything. So I, I mean, you're paying a premium. And in this case, it pays off for the quality that you're getting and the performance. So, oh, I already wrote thank you. Um, it's hard to think and write at the same time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this useful. And thank you to Kion Dash Canada for loaning me this pen. This is going to be returned um, actually like right after this video. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Like, have you used a Kion Dash before? What do you think of the nib? You know, do some stuff, drop some comments. Any hoots, you can find me as Gourmet Pens on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Patreon. And you can also find me on most of those platforms as Toronto Pen Company, should you want some pen stuff done, nib work, etc. Okie dokie. Uh, thank you guys. We will see you next time on the next video. Bye!